वेलकम फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ शॉप तो पोर्नी फ्रॉम बाय लाइफ होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेरी वेल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म्स ऑफ इकोलॉजी नोन एज इकोटोन एज इफेक्ट एंड एज स्पीसीज सो बिफोर नोइंग व्हाट इज इकोटोन वी मस्ट नो सम टर्म्स रिलेटेड टू इट ओके सो इकोटोन इज नथिंग बट अ ट्रांजिशनल जोन बिटवीन टू डिफरेंट पैचेस और इट इज अ वाइडर बॉर्डर बिटवीन टू एडजेसेंट पैचेस ओके सो व्हाट इज अ पैच पैच इज अ स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल कंपोनेंट ऑफ द लैंडस्केप और लैंडस्केप मोजेक ओके सो इफ इट इज अ लैंडस्केप दीज आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ पैचेस ओके दीज आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पैचेस एंड सी हियर all of them are distinct from each other okay so patches are nothing but uh, different types of communities present in a landscape or we may also call it as a landscape mosaic because like the mosaic roof it also contains mosaics of different types of patches okay so several distinct communities or patches along with their boundaries obviously each patch has a boundary okay see this patch has a boundary so different patches along with their boundaries make up the structural and functional component of the landscape or landscape mosaic where they interact in a variety of ways depending on their size and spatial arrangement okay so here in a landscape or landscape mosaic different patches interact with each other according to their size and their spatial arrangement okay now patches are generally homogeneous areas like forest grassland crop field lawn ponds etc and each patch differ from other in its physical and biological structure what do you mean by physical structure physical structure means their topography soil component etc microhabitat etc okay and biological structure means their species composition or species component okay so each patch is different from each other according to their uh, biological and physical structure and um, each patch is generally homogeneous okay they are different from others but they are generally homogeneous relatively homogeneous than other patches okay now what is age we will learn about age effect age species so what is age age is nothing but the perimeter of each patch okay that means age is the perimeter the boundary line of each patch is known as age age okay so ages mark the perimeter of each patch or community now there could be two types of ages what are those those are inherent ages and induced age ages so what is inherent age inherent age is uh, is the age of a patch uh, where it is formed due to a long term process long long term natural process and it is a uh, stable and permanent kind of age generally okay and uh, here you can find abrupt change in physical condition between communities see there is uh, let's take a forest and uh, inside the forest there is a rocky outcrop okay so obviously the uh, age between the forest and that rocky outcrop is quite different and uh, that is a abrupt change there is no clinal change actually okay that is a kind of abrupt change and the uh, and the age is uh, stable and permanent so that is why it is known as inherent age now what is induced age induced age is formed due to natural disturbances like fire flood or some kind of anthropogenic reasons like timber harvestment etc okay due to these reasons when there is a uh, there a uh, age forms that kind of age is known as induced age okay we have we are inducing the age to form that is why it is induced age not it is not a kind of inherent age and as it is a kind of induced age uh, it is not stable and it is subjected to sectional changes over time okay now what is border we have learned about age now what is border see border is the place where edges of one patch meets the edge of another patch okay so uh, let's take there are two uh, patches okay this is a forest patch this is a agricultural field patch and these are their edges okay forest have four edges and agricultural field have also uh, four edges and where the edges of both the 
patch meet that means here the structure is formed is known as the border okay so the border is the meeting line of uh, edges of two adjacent patches so the place where edge of one patch meets the edge of another patch it uh, that is known as the border and the border connects patches through fluxes of organism materials and energy obviously through border organisms can pass from here to there and obviously with the organisms the energy also passes and also the different materials can also be uh, passed okay so how many types of borders are there there are four types of borders okay the first one is narrow and abrupt border this is a kind of narrow and abrupt border which indicates a sharp contrast between the adjacent patches see here it is a forest it is a agricultural field and there is a very abrupt border or sharp border okay so this kind of border also known as narrow border now coming to our topic ecotone remember ecotone is not any kind of border between two adjacent patches it is a type of wide border between two adjacent patches or two adjacent communities okay so wide border forming a transitional zone between two adjacent patches is known as ecotone see here if this is a forest patch it is a grassland patch then this is the age of forest the blue one and the red one is the age of grassland now if it was a narrow border then we will call this is the only border but no this is a wider kind of border see here the border extends up to here in the forest patch and here up to the grassland patch and this wider border is known as the ecotone this wider border is known as the ecotone so what is how can you define this width ঠিক আছে so the width is base defined as a distance between the border and the point where physical condition and veg vegetation don't significantly differ from the interior of the respective path so uh, what is your width this is the border this is this is the edge of the forest and this is the point where the physical condition and the uh, vegetational condition of these forest patch uh, is almost similar to the interior of the forest patch okay so that is your width of the um, ecotone at both the side of the uh, adjacent patches okay now uh, what is a uh, and go a good example of ecotone an estuary is a good example of ecotone where river meets the sea okay and the size of ecotone may vary from 1 km to 100 km so it is a wider kind of border between two adjacent patches okay remember to write this term wider kind of border okay now the border can be of straight line like the narrow border okay or it can be convoluted like this okay the border can be tight there may be no perforation or no gap or the border may have gaps like here the borders have gaps okay and uh, this is this kind of border is known as perforated border now these are the four types of border so under the border ecotone comes and ecotone is a wider kind of border okay remember that now what is age effect see border provides a blend of elements from both the adjacent patches okay so obviously and along with that there are unique elements also so border have three kinds of elements uh, elements from both the adjacent patches along with its unique elements as a result what happens the diverse condition supports species from adjacent patches as well as species exclusively restricted to to the age environment okay those are known as age species so the border will support uh species from both the adjacent patches along with the exclusively found uh, or endemic species of the age okay those are known as age species as a result the borders are populated by rich diversity and denser population relative to the two connected patches and this effect is called age effect so see here so see here if these are the two uh, 
uh, different patches patch 1 and patch 2 patch 1 have these two types of species patch 2 have these two types of species and this is the uh, border okay or the ecotone you may call uh, and here you can find that at this age uh, there are obviously species of patch 1 these are the species of patch 1 these two are the species of patch 2 along with that some unique species are also present these two are the unique species and these two species are known as age species so obviously due to uh, variety of or diversity of elements found in at the age or at the border the border could support different types of species okay it could support species from its adjacent patches along with that some exclusive endemic species of its own those are known as age species okay uh, because the, uh, this part this border has high amount of resource and high amount of food and shelter supply that is why they, it can support high amount of biodiversity so the borders are populated by rich biodiversity and denser population relative to two connected patches you can see the population is also denser with high diversity and this effect is known as age effect and always remember that the greater the contrast between the two adjacent patches the greater will be the diversity at the age or at the border okay so the uh, the greater will be the age effect so here is a question for you if the two adjacent patches are one is mature forest one is younger forest and another one is one is forest and one is grassland in which of the in which uh, uh, border you will find much age effect much biodiversity obviously these two have less contrast and these two have more contrast so obviously forest and grassland border or forest and grassland age will show more age effect more diversity than these two so it will have more biodiversity more rich diversity or more rich age effect okay now what is each age species i have already told you age species are those species which are exclusively found at the age environment and another uh, and like like i have already discussed these two are the age species which are exclusively found at the age environment okay uh, one example is indigo bunting now one thing you must always remember that borders are always dynamic okay borders are always dynamic see here you can find this is a forest and this is a field agricultural field or grassland whatever this is a field and you can see here there there is a sharp uh, distance between these two okay sharp vertical structure is running between these two and this is the narrow border this is the age of forest this is the age of field and between these two edges are meeting at a narrow border and over the time you will see that the distance between the forest crown and the field will decrease okay the distance between the forest crown and uh, the field will decrease forming a continuous vertical profile of vegetation now you will find different kinds of uh, low height plants are growing here that means the narrow border is now changing into a wider border so over the time border changes that is why we can say that the borders are dynamic in terms of their vertical structure along with their horizontal profile okay so borders are always dynamic remember that so with this i end my today's video here i hope all of you have understood what is ecotone what is what is age first of all what is patch then what is age what is border then what is what are the four different types of borders and among them what is ecotone and along with that what is age effect and what is age species so if you find this video useful and uh, find it uh, useful for you then don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and happy learning